Hey again. Today I wanted to talk to you about something a little bit different. Now you know I've been talking for a while about they're coming to take your Bible. And I just read a very interesting article about a woman in the state of Colorado was simply homeschooling her children and the FBI broke into her house without even knocking. They used a battering ram to to break open the door. And then they mistreated the daughter, dragged her around by her hoodie, and started to handcuff both her and her husband. Her husband got out of it, but she was actually very mistreated. And this shows the tyranny that is coming across the American nation. Trust me when I say they will go after your Bibles. This woman was simply a homeschooler in that state of Colorado. I'm going to tell you more about this and show you the actual text of an article that I read. This is very interesting and I hope that it adds to your life and also causes you to think more about hiding the Word of God in your heart. When you hide that Word of God in your heart, you are invincible. The Bible says nothing shall by any means hurt you. And Jesus promised that he would be with you always, even to the end of the world. So, I want you to see what I'm going to show you right now. What happened in this particular instance is that, I will go ahead and read the text of this news article. On November 16th, an FBI special weapons statistics team, a SWAT team, broke down the door of Sharana Bishop's house while she was homeschooling her children. At 9.30 a.m., they heard banging on their door. Bishop saw figures at her door, and she thought, they're here. She barely had time to get her children into their rooms before the SWAT team was assaulting her unlocked front door with a battering ram. Bishop remembered, they didn't even give me any time to get to the door. So they didn't knock. The door was unlocked. She would have let them in, but they decided just to go up to the door and knock it down. This is a real abuse of authority, and it shows the, to the lengths that the government, the new government will do in order to have its way and to silence anybody who agree, disagrees with them. Can imagine this group of heavily armed police coming to attack a homeschooling mom and make her an example outside in her neighborhood. This is uncalled for. Now the article goes on to say they then took her outside where her neighbors could watch. Though that wasn't her primary concern at the moment. My children were still inside, she said. The SWAT team went back into the home. Bishop reflected, Your children are inside with someone you don't know. You have no idea what's going to happen. They won't tell me why they were there. I stood out there for about 30 minutes while they went through my home. And you can imagine that the these police, these FBI agents, federal agents coming to a attack the woman's home, uh, what they did in there. She goes on to say, some unnecessary things went on. Her 18-year-old daughter was coming up the stairs without knowledge of the break-in. Can you imagine an 18-year-old sweet girl just coming up the stairs and all of a sudden these cops break in? Bishop said, a six foot seven inch tall Huge FBI agent pulled her on her hoodie down the stairs, pulled her by her hoodie back up the stairs. It was just unnecessary. She's a good kid. It's challenging to be telling this story because I support law enforcement 100%. But the abuse of power, the abuse of authority, and coming in with brute force was completely unnecessary. This can happen to me. It can happen to you. And that's why I want to share with you the importance of your hiding the word of God in your heart. Because 
when they decide to attack, there's no warning. If they decide that they're going to confiscate all Bibles, there will be no warning. It will just be force, abusive violence. And so I want you to hide the word of God in your heart at all times. One of the important takeaways from this is that you have to stand on your own two feet. We all do. We have to be strong enough with the word of God in our heart to make our own decisions and not trust the mainstream media, the corporate media that has combined with this uh, wicked cabal that has taken hold of the U.S. government. After and during the break-in, she was disappointed to discover that a representative of Colorado Attorney General, Phil Weiser, said of the break-in at Bishop's house, We dispute how some have characterized the law enforcement action carried out earlier this week in Mesa and Garfield counties. This judicially authorized search was executed in a professional and lawful manner. Bishop said, Weiser is saying that we're lying. And Mike Huckabee has a newsletter that pointed out other ways this story is being spun to make this homeschooling woman look bad and also uh, try to make themselves look good. Well, that's all for now. I'm AJ. I'll see you in the next video.